Hi there. Welcome back to the data visualization using Power BI sessions by A Square Technology. So in today's session, we are going to see uh, what is Power BI. So what is Power BI? So Power BI, we can define it as a business intelligence tool that simplifies complex data. It gathers information from various sources, organizes it, and creates easy to understand visuals like charts and graphs. This allows you to see trends, make better decisions, and even share those insights with others. Or in other words, we can define it as a business intelligence tool, which helps you to analyze, clean, and convert the data into a visual format, using which you can create different reports and dashboards. So we can define Power BI in other way as a collection of the following four components, Power Query, Power Pivot, Power View, and Power BI Service. So these are the four components of Power BI. So let us look at each and every component in detail. The first component is the Power Query component. The Power Query component of Power BI, you can consider it as the ETL tool. So we know what an ETL tool is. An ETL tool is basically used for data pre-processing. Uh, the ETL part of Power BI, which is Power Query, it extracts the data from various sources. Then it transforms the data by cleaning it, by uh, removing unwanted rows or columns, duplicates, um, then uh, errors, etc. And then loads the data to a suitable data source. So that is what the Power Query component does. And basically, the Power Query component of Power BI is used to clean and transform the data before analysis. Then the second component of Power BI is a Power Pivot. Power Pivot component in Power BI is used for data modeling. The Pivot component helps in connecting and creating relationship between multiple data sources. You can load data from an Excel file. You can load data from a database. You can load data from a text files or CSV files or get data from um, some websites or cloud platforms. And uh, by making use of this data, you can construct a data model using the Power Pivot component. So the Power Pivot component in Power BI helps you with the data modeling. Then comes the third component, Power View. So once you have loaded the data, transformed and uh, cleaned the data, build the data model, you have to start creating the visual. The Power View component of Power BI is going to do that. Using the Power View component, you can create reports and dashboards. The so Power BI can support up to 250 plus uh, charts and visualizations. So you might be familiar with the visualizations like line chart, column chart, donut chart, pie chart, etc. So apart from these normal charts, Power BI supports a variety of uh, different charts. And uh, the Power View component is available in Power BI to do the same. So if you want to perform the visualization part, you have to make use of the Power View component. So it is useful for presentation, dashboards, and creating the reports. Then the last component of Power BI is Power BI service. So once your report is ready, the report has to be shared to the end users. So we will be creating the reports in Power BI desktop, and we have to share the report to the end users in a, in a format that is convenient for them. So the end users might be expecting the uh, results maybe as a link uh, coming to their mail as a mobile app, or they might be uh, interested in getting uh, the report published in their websites or something. So we have to convert the report into a format that is suitable for the end user. Also, sometimes we have to combine multiple reports to create the final output. So for doing all these things, we have to publish the reports into Power BI service. So using the Power BI service, I can share the report we have created using Power BI desktop with the different users across the globe. So it helps the users to communicate via the report. So these are the four components of Power BI. Power Query component, basically the ETL tool. Power Pivot component is used for the data modeling. 
power view component is used for creating the visualizations and power bi service is used for collaborating and sharing the reports to the end user so here the first three components the power query power pivot and power view these three components are available in a software known as power bi desktop so let's try to understand what is power bi desktop Power BI Desktop is a free application you can install on your local computer and the software lets you to connect, transform and visualize your data. With Power BI Desktop, you can connect to multiple different data sources and combine them into a data model. So you can perform the data cleaning, the data modeling and the visualizations uh, using the Power BI Desktop tool. So the Power Query, Power Pivot, and the Power View components are present in the Power BI desktop. Now let's try to understand why Power BI is popular. Why it stand out compared to the other visualization tools? Why not other? So the first reason for that is the search volume in Google. So you can open Google Trends and search for Power BI. So the in the past five years, the search volume of this particular tool is increasing. So if you compare uh, the search volume of Power BI with other similar tools, you will find Power BI is having a uh, better search numbers compared to the other tools. So that is one of the reason uh, for choosing Power BI. The search volume is more for Power BI because more and more people are using it. So it is more popular. That is one of the reason to choose Power BI. Then the second reason for choosing Power BI is the maximum features. So using the Power BI uh, desktop, it is possible for us to write 1,200 different functions. It also supports more than 250 plus visualizations. Comparing with other tools of uh, similar properties, Power BI can write 1,200 different functions and it can create more than 250 plus visualizations. So that has uh, maximum features in comparison with other similar tools. So that is another reason to choose Power BI. And then uh, one more reason for choosing Power BI is it is one of the cheapest tools. Compared to other tools in Gardner Magic Quantrust, Power BI is one of the cheapest tools uh, with maximum features. So it is another reason to choose Power BI. And the last uh, reason for choosing Power BI is it is recognized by Gartner. So Gartner is a company which compares all the BI products and Power BI always comes on top. So that is another reason for choosing Power BI in comparison with other visual, I mean visualization tools. Yeah, so that's all for today's session. We'll connect again with another session. Thank you.